In the last video, we learned how addition and multiplication have this nice property called the commutative property. Now we're going to learn a new property that addition and multiplication both have, and it's the associative property. So addition is associative. Let's start with addition here. So a plus b as a group plus c is the same thing as a plus the group b plus c. So really it tells us something about how we're grouping addition, where we write these parentheses. And really it's saying it doesn't matter where we write them because they're, they're the same. So let's see an example. 9 plus 3 plus 5. And we'll do 9 plus 3 as a group. Well this is equal to 9 plus the group 5 plus 3, or 3 plus 5. So 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 5, and then on the other side we're going to get 9 plus 8. 12 plus 5 is 17, 9 plus 8 is 17, and so we can see the associative property in action. Action doesn't matter where we put the parentheses, uh, the both sides are equal. Since it doesn't matter where we put the parentheses, what we're going to do is just drop them. The parentheses don't tell us anything interesting, so we don't need them. It doesn't matter where we put them, so why, why put them anywhere? Okay, so that was addition. Multiplication is the same. Multiplication is associative. So we write that as A times B as a group times C is equal to A times the group B times C. So it's the same thing, and let's see an example of this. Five times three as a group is equal to five times the group three times two. So five times three is fifteen times two, and then on the other side we'll get five times six, and 15 times 2 is 30, 5 times 6 is 30, so you can see that both sides are equal. If you're wondering if anything isn't associative, in the next video we'll see that subtraction is not associative, and we'll see how that works. Okay, see you then.